pretty upbeat after the game? Have you kept that same mindset? Yeah, after man. watching the film and going through For everything? For sure. The, um, you take probably three and a half to probably, well, three to three and a half quarters, and it was spot on. Um, we were just fine. Uh, you take that last six minutes of the game, and we didn't execute. Uh, and we gave the game away, basically. So um, there's a lot of things to be happy with and proud of in that game. And I think we're going to move forward. Uh, Receiver-wise, I think we're too deep at each spot. I think that both those guys in each spot can make plays. Uh, running back, we're doing just fine. Um, we should put up a lot of points. Um, I think um, what we need to get better at as an offense is when we do become conservative, it's, it's okay to try to run out the clock if you have a lead but execution needs to stay the same. So we may not be going as fast tempo-wise, but executing and getting first down should not stop, regardless of what tempo you're going as an offense, it should stay the same. That's what we need to make strides in as an offense. How come, how come they had you running the ball so much in the fourth quarter? I mean, even at one point, we had three runs in a row, I believe. Yep, I think so. Um, we saw that they were really only bringing three and dropping eight anytime I took a drop, and so we were trying to, uh, I guess, utilize that as much as we could try to act like we were throwing it to the right, try to get him to expand, and then open up the middle, which it did. It worked two out of three. The third one didn't, didn't really work that well. But um, we just have to be able to um, not let people dictate how we run our offense. We need to be, we need to, we're kind of in control of our destiny. And so whatever play is called, it's up to us to execute it. We don't, we don't allow other teams to, to affect our play call, essentially. And that's something we, else we need to make strides in. Did you think the offense you said it did lose an edge to it, so you don't think it was quite aggressive enough maybe in that fourth quarter? Yeah, I think what happened was um, we slowed tempo down, and when we slow tempo down, we don't execute as well. Um, we, don't, we only get a couple yards here and there, and we go three and out. We can't have that. If we are going to slow down where we want to try to take more time off the clock, our execution, like I said, needs to be the exact same. So in the first series where we were rolling um, all the way down the field, we were going pretty fast, pretty upbeat, calling plays right away, get on the ball, get set, and go. Um, if we try to take that back where we're trying to run the play clock down to maybe five mm -hmm. seconds or seven seconds, the playing, the execution should stay the same. I should still be seven for seven for however many yards and a touchdown, regardless of how fast we're going. So that's something that we need to do. I don't think we did that very well in the second half. I think we lost that edge. We knew we had a lead. We, we knew we were trying to control the ball longer um, to keep our defense off the field and get them rested. And, in doing so, we've stepped off the gas, essentially, in execution, and we can't do that. What, what do you anticipate seeing from Vanderbilt? Is this more of a man team? They are. Comp compared to what you saw yep. for most of the game last week? They are. They're more of a four-down team, or we saw three-down uh, Yes, or Sorry, not yesterday. Sorry about that. Um, more three-down with Nevada. This one, they'll run four-down. Third-down, they might go 30. Uh, for the majority of it, they'll be man coverage um, or cover five. So two into the boundary, four to the field. Um, so this is gonna be good for our receivers. This is uh, a game where we can showcase what they're about. One-on-one -on -one coverage, you're, it's, I mean, you beat them and there's no one else. So Rondell should have a big game. All of our receivers could have a very big game uh, if we utilize, they do bring pressure though. So we'll have to be ready for, for stunts and tricks up front. Um, but if we can get that handled and get the ball out quick, it's one-on-one, -on -one. you make one guy miss and it can be to the house. I mean, Amanda Anderson had a pretty big uh, debut. Talk, mm -hmm. about, uh, talk about his play last Friday night. Yeah, I couldn't be more proud of him. He actually saved me on a couple plays. Uh, one was behind him, and he ended up catching it for me. Uh, he made some tough catches uh, that should have been um, an incompletion because I was off the mark. And so um, yeah, I love that in a receiver, knowing that I can kind of put it anywhere close in general area, and they're gonna, he's going to catch it. And so um, that gave me more confidence to go back to him. I couldn't be happier with him given their defensive scheme and the confidence you have in your receiving core. Are you kind of excited about the possibility of setting it? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, man coverage, I take our guys in man coverage over anyone. Um, I think Rondell can go against anybody one-on-one -on -one and win. Um, I think we have a couple other guys in the receiving core that can do the, just the exact same thing. And um, as a quarterback, you're like, as long as you can have enough time, or even if they are bringing pressure, drift and throw it to them, there's no one else. So if they have that vacate the middle and bring five, bring six, and you have Rondell on a option route or whatever it may be, and he breaks in, there's no one else. He catches it, he's gone. So, I mean, as a quarterback, you're like, man, I could have one throw, one play touchdowns against man. And that's how you beat man coverage. So if you don't, if you're uh, as you're on a team and you don't like having man coverage, the way you beat it is to do that a couple times and teams won't go man coverage. So uh, that's what we're gonna try to, try to defeat essentially on Saturday. Did you, did you feel like you had enough time throughout the game Friday and the offensive line held up 
yeah as, as you expected yeah definitely we ran a couple double moves and and certain things where we would fake a screen and throw down field and stuff and we had plenty of time so uh, i was very happy with that towards the second half we started to get a little bit more pressure where i had to escape uh, essentially or check it down but i don't think it was anything that we should be concerned about um we'll need to they bring more pressure this game so we'll have to see how the guys step up and react but i think we'll be just fine